Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 22 today in verses 7 to 13. Then came the day of unleavened bread when the Passover must be killed. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us that we may eat. So they said to him, Where do you want us to prepare? And he said to them, Behold, when you have entered the city, a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house which he enters. Then you shall say to the master of the house, The teacher says to you, Where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large furnished upper room. There make ready. So they went and found it, just as he had said to them, and they prepared the Passover. So Jesus is going to eat the Passover with his disciples, and how is that going to be? This interesting handoff here with this fella, uh, how could this be? Is this just a, a random chance because there's guys walking through the city with, with pitchers of water? No, I don't believe it is. I believe this is another indicator of Jesus. Jesus sought for his father for insight, and he was given a vision. He was shown a man walking with a pitcher, perhaps. And so Jesus then takes this, and he, he believes completely that that's the way it will be. And he tells it to his disciples because God the Father is communicating with God the Son, God the Son is communicating with the disciples, and through the Word, we're seeing how that all pitches out. So, you know what? It was just the way Jesus said it would be because he is prophet, priest, and king, and included in that is that prophet idea. Jesus, when he needed insight, God the Father, he was so close, so tuned, they were so tuned close together, the Father would just drop these revelations on him. And even though Jesus and us, there's a vast difference between Jesus and me, Jesus and you and me, uh, because we have sinned and Jesus never sinned. Even so, I do believe that if our hearts are, are given to God, if we are in need and we're seeking to do his work and we're seeking his will, I believe that from time to time, he will share with us either insights or even revelations. And these kind of things can happen uh, in our experience. Haven't you had something like that maybe happen? And if not, maybe we can draw closer to him and experience it. But this one was just as Jesus said. It was just the way he said it would be. And so, of course it was. Of course it was. We're not surprised, are we? Let's pray. Father in heaven, this world is just the way that Jesus said it would be in these last days. So, again, we want to give our hearts to you today. Start out a new day saying, Jesus I'm all yours. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy upon me. So now, Lord, please do that. Send your Holy Spirit. Work in our hearts and lives. Use us for your purposes. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Thank you for being our King. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, friend, go on out into today and expect the blessing of God upon you.